Most people in America are familiar with technology to a small point. Some people in America are more familiar with technology to a larger point. And then we have our technological quote-unquote experts who have a pre precision or degree or certification or life experience or seasoned work in technology. What we also know is that technology companies that carry our cell phones and carry our computers are doing things that sort of abuse our rights in terms of the programs that they put on the equipment before it gets to us and the inability for us to delete some of those programs that we don't want for us. We also recognize that some of those programs come in from overseas, which means sometimes those companies don't have the same life policies, the same technological laws, and the same rights to privacy as us. And we often have to say on our cell phones that yes, this program can use our photographs, and yes, this program can use our network of people, but truth, it might be abusing our life. What I can tell you about my cell phone or about my use of Google Voice is that someone deleted my phone number to my late wife, and someone deleted my phone number to my late son, and someone deleted other things all the time on me. And this attack on my life with technology has been happening for a long time, but what I also think is that it's done by an abusive bastard from overseas who thought they'd take my concept of what I was talking about in poverty that he only learned because he looked me up online somehow because some professional educator or some pastor inappropriately shared materials I left with her to this idiot of Satan who literally decided to take my tease of transformation and decide to apply it to my life to see if it actually desolated my life in some scientific study he wanted to produce for his life or something like that and the truth is it might have. But at the same time there's a lot of other courses and a lot of other ideas of why my life has gone this way but it's not because I don't want to work and it's not because I choose to live this way although I don't mind living outside. What I mind the most are the bastards of Satan that antagonistic force that believe they have the right to abuse my life, my body, my paperwork, and my property every day. And it might be a group of people which makes it mobbing and a part of technological stalking and a part of a debilitation force of American society that makes us look absolutely ridiculous when it hits the news and makes world renownedness for some group of people or some individual that started and launched it all. And my guess is it's some little kid who started this, but then wanted to think, oh, I'll get out of my responsibility by spreading this out and this information out across my social networks and improperly through channels that don't actually belong to me, which makes everyone involved in the abuse on me, the rape of me, and all that actually liable. It's called aiding and abetting. 